Hello, welcome to School of Alchemy. Today's book is The Ancient Egypt, an illustrated reference to the myths, religions, pyramids, and temples of the land of the pharaohs by Lorna Oaks and Lucia Gallin. So this is a paperback. This is published by Barn and Nobles. Just the back. Isn't it beautiful? Egyptians are very uh, artistic. So in part one, you will see the sacred sites of ancient Egypt, the burial places, the religious centers, and in part two, is the gods, myths, and religion of ancient Egypt state religion, religion in life and death. I think everything Egypt is beautiful. So here is the ancient e Egypt in context. Beginnings of the civilization. Oh, look at this very intricate work of art. You have the goat. What is this? The proto dynastic two dogs, ceremonial gray wake pallid from Heraconopolis, is decorated with desert animals and two mythological naked beasts in the style of Mesopotamian art. The center circular area was for the grinding of pigments. Beautiful. Oh, well, you know, I, I saw this in the exhibition, the uh, tomb of King Tutankhamen. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's wielded it go in gold, and the the carvings are very exquisite. You know. It seems like it's been uh, done recently, you know. But the craftsmanship, the craftsmanship. I can't say anything less. So for the early travelers of Egypt is... Herodotus, Hadrian, and then the Europeans, which is Napoleon, and then uh, Vivant Denon, Champollion and Young. Founders of Egyptology, John Gardner Wilkinson, Carl Richard Lepsius, Mariette and the French Egyptology. Oh, look at this artwork. Wow. Amelia Edwards, Sir William Matthew Flinders Petrie. Early dynastic period Mastabas, the tomb of Dijer. Look at this. We didn't see this before. All we saw is the pyramids. From step pyramid to true pyramid. Oh, 
Oh, the step pyramid are the small ones. How the pyramids were built. There are many theories about that. Some people say that, you know, people carry it through cartwheel. And let me see. An artist's impression of construction of the Giza pyramid based on a drawing of Henrik Lutenmann. Groups of workers haul the massive blocks in position. But there are many theories that the block is like tons. It weighs tons and it's impossible to do it. And so there are th theories that it's it was built to sound. Spells from the pyramids. Oh, look at this. Mud brick pyramids. Royal jewelry. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. The stunning gold diadem of Sitar Torionet was found in her tomb in the funerary complex of Senos Red II. They love ornaments. Pyramids of Kushite Kings. Why can't we be this artistic? So this is the map. Great Pyramids of Khufu. Mustabas Khufu's reliefs. Yeah, I like maps because they give you a direction where the places are skits triads showing me protected by Hathor and the various lo local deity look at the craftsmanship here look my god Also, they don't have edges, you know. You know, the sculpture have edges. This is so rounded. That's what makes me like their uh, statues. Because it seems like there's no traces of chisel. Everything is rounded. The tomb of Heteferes. Look, look at the bed. Wow, the chair. Everything is of quality. And look at the pillow. Is this a pillow or a footrest? <laughs> Kufu's boat. Look at this. The dwarf Seneb and his family. From this tomb of at Giza, funerary statue project an ideal view of the disease, so Seneb's deformity has been disguised. Oh, I see. So Seneb is a little man. Look. Right. But look at this. Look at the, are these children? They're doing the sign for silent, you know. Shh. <laughs> this is the Dwarf Cemetery. Memphis and Saqqara. So I'm gonna flip faster. Wow, look at 
at this. The temple at Dendera. Pilgrimage and pageant. Wow. Look at the artwork. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Made with gold and basalt. Temples of Eden. This is popular one, the Karnak one. This is where, this is like open to the public. And the Luxor temple. Temple Mount. Wow, look. I wish one day I'm gonna go to Egypt. Tomb of Nefertiti. Look at that. Temples of Nubia. The Royal Tombs of Tanis. Wow. Horse. The Bastet Cat. Ubastis. Fayum portraits. The island of Blessed. Oh, they also have islands. The mosque and synagogues in Egypt. Early Christian in Alexandria. Look at the dome. It's beautiful. Gods and goddesses. So if you're interested in Egyptian gods and goddesses, this is a good illustration book. A headdress and crowns. This is important. I mean, if you're learning Egyptology, because most of the, the deities are wearing something, right? Wearing something on their head. So, it's good to know these headdresses. The appearance. Egyptian pantheon. Of course. I saw this in the one... In the Manly P. Hall's book. The sistrum was shaken like a rattle by priestess of Hathor. Scarab. And the ank. Myths and their setting. Oh, I love myths. Myths. love myths you're also gonna like Joseph Campbell festivals different types of temples this is good to know Different types of temples. So you, in, when you get there, you know what it is. Temple rites and offerings. Very nice. Incense and water. Wow. Temple literature. Scribes and writing. 
Okay, na natin sa New City. Okay, na natin sa New Religion. Is this the Sun Worship? Burial Sites. Beliefs about the afterlife. Kaba and Ak. Oh, this is the popular one. The Wing of the Heart. The Feather of my aunt. Right? Heart Scarabs. Mummification. You know, uh, until today, in the present time, there is a mummification uh, workshop at the uh, AMORC, M-A-O-R-C, the Rosicrucian in uh, San Jose, California. They teach mummification workshop. The Book of the Dead. Funeral equipment. Oh, wow. Funeral tombs. The four canopy coffins containing Susan Commons internal organs are miniature replicas of the second of the king's three coffins yeah his coffin are like uh it's a big one and then when you open it there's a smaller one magic it's just the little people right Wands and spells, God of Magic. So they already have wands and spells long time ago. I remember in Moses, right? He was he have a staff that divides the water. When the Hebrew crossed the Red Sea, who performed magic? And that's in the Bible. I'm not saying it's uh, historical, but it's in the biblical text, biblical canon. Oh, they also believe in demons. Household deities. Oh, they have rituals. Wands. Look at their wands. It's like a boomerang. Magic rods. Got magic and was amulets. Look at this. Oh man, I want to see this in person. Taboos. At the most popular deity, in a funerary context, the goddess Maat was often depicted with large enveloping wings, much associated with protective female deity, as here in the tomb of the 19th dynasty king. Senate in West Te Thebes or Tebes. Lucky in and lucky days. Oh, they also have this. So what, whatever we, we have in the present time, they also originated a long time ago. Dreams. Oh, I would like to know the meaning of my dreams. Oracles. 
oats festival in pilgrimage music and dance beer and wine look at this ancestor worship still common in the ancient in the Asians, like we worship our, not worship, we uh, have pictures of our ancestors in the altar. The negative influence of the dead. Mythologizing ancient Egypt. The legacy of the classical writers. Champollion. Misunderstanding the pyramids, yeah. Of course, you know, the loop. They put a pyramid there. Pyramid shape. The curse of Pharaohs. Yeah, the curse is those people who excavate, they die, you know. They die a mysterious death. There you go, acknowledgement and indexes. So, I hope you like and enjoy it like as I do. Because I love illustrations. So, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And feel free to subscribe. Okay, see you next week.